Happy Saturday, everyone. A pleasant day all across the region. And this evening, weather's not too bad out there. We've got a couple of high clouds building in, but overall comfortable temperatures. If you have any plans, maybe taking a little dinner out on the patio or something like that, looking pretty good. Temperatures, lower 60s in the mountains, low to mid 60s across the upstate with a couple of 50s sprinkled in in some of our low lying areas there. So cooler, but not too bad out there. In fact, temperatures are about a degree to two, three degrees warmer than where we were 24 hours ago at this time. So overall, mild temperatures are here to stick around for us tonight. It will be warmer overnight tonight. And as we go into your Sunday, we're going to be ahead of a cold front that's going to be approaching. So we're still going to have that mild southwesterly wind, and that's going to bump our temperatures up to or above normal across the area. Only about a few degrees, but still, it'll be pretty nice with uh, a little bit of sunshine. But we're also going to notice a few more clouds building in as well. But that cold front will move through as we get into your Monday night heading into Tuesday. So behind that front, look at this. We're going to see more chilly air building in from the north, and that will not only be for your Monday into early Tuesday morning, that'll stick around throughout the day on Tuesday. So we're going to go from mild to cool, a mild day for us on our Sunday. But by the time we get towards Tuesday afternoon, highs will struggle to get back out of the 50s again, and that's after starting the day close to the freezing mark again across the area. Now let's talk about some rain chances because we've got a couple of shots of that as we go throughout the next next several days. The first shot will arrive as we get into tomorrow night heading into early Monday. That's with front number one. Notice just a little band of showers setting up to our west on your Sunday afternoon. There's not a lot of oomph to this cold front as it moves on through. So a couple of spotty showers are possible overnight Sunday night into early Monday, but throughout the day that'll clear out of here quickly. I think the rain chances at about 20% or so. So again, a spotty shower to early Monday. Now a second more stronger cold front will arrive with a little bit more moisture as we get into your Wednesday. And I think by Wednesday evening, evening into Wednesday night. That's going to be the prime time where we see our best chance of rain across the area as that second front moves on through. Here's the good news though. As we get into your Thanksgiving day, notice most of that rain is moving out of here. So I think maybe minus a spotty shower early in the day, we're going to be drying things out. So rain chances tomorrow pretty much nil. As we get into your Monday, we'll add, introduce a low chance early in the morning. Most of us will stay dry, though. Tuesday looking like a dry day, but Wednesday, that's the highest day so far this week as we get that rain chances in. But again, for Thanksgiving Day, a spotty shower in the morning. Otherwise, partly sunny and nice as we get into the afternoon hours with temperatures climbing into the mid-60s with sunshine in the afternoon. And for the evening dinner time frame, temperatures near 60. Family food and football, the perfect recipe as we go into the evening hours. Now the following weekend will start Friday dry. Saturday will be dry with a few clouds, but yet a stronger storm with more moisture arrives on Sunday. So you get the idea, a more active pattern developing late next week. Increasing clouds, patchy fog late, temperatures in the low to mid 40s, so a little warmer. Sunday, mostly cloudy, still mild, maybe a spotty mountain shower. We'll see our highs climbing into the mid to upper 60s. Your four day plus showing us here those shower chances good on Wednesday, but drying out for Turkey Day and the weekend looking pretty good right now. Same thing in the mountains, a little cooler though by Monday. Highs in the 50s, lows back below freezing by Tuesday morning.